Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Mimi's house. Today, I'm going to take on a pantry raid challenge, and that is where you look through your pantry, your refrigerator, your freezer, and you come up with a meal. And this is things that you already have. You don't go to the store. You just pick out from your pantry supply. So I'm going to be looking around at the different things that I have, and I'll bring you along, and then we'll come up with a dinner for tonight. Now, it got really cold last night. We had a storm come through. We went from 80 degrees and we're down to 50 now. So I'm thinking soup, some kind of really good soup. So let's take a tour of the different areas in my house where I keep food and let's come up with a really good soup for tonight. Thanks. Okay, here is some meat that I have canned and that's what I wanna use is some type of canned meat. I've got canned chicken breast, canned turkey, and then the canned beef stew. So let's think about it. I could do turkey noodle soup. I could do some kind of chicken taco soup. Or I could do a vegetable beef soup. So let's take two pints of the stew beef meat. Okay, and so if I, if I make the um, beef vegetable soup, I'm going to need some canned tomatoes. So, fortunately, I have a nice supply of canned tomatoes, so I'm going to grab a quart of those. Now, let's head down to the freezer. All right, so here is what I gathered from the refrigerator, the freezer, and two pantries. I've got some baby lima beans. I've got some crowder peas. I've got um, green beans, two jars of stew beef, a jar of canned tomatoes, some beef broth, I've got celery, carrots, a can of V8 juice, an onion, garlic from the garden, some kale, potatoes from the pantry, and corn, plus some carrots that I need to use up. So let's get ready to make a big pot of homemade vegetable beef soup. Okay, and um, I'm, I'm using a smaller soup pot because I'm just trying to make this for two people. So I'm not pulling out the big one. But here I have um, a frozen quart of my beef broth and I'll link below that video on how to make your own beef broth. This is so good and adds such good flavor to your soups. So I'm gonna put that in there to melt. I'm going to take the jar of tomatoes and add that. Gotta open them. I really admire you ladies that can take your hands and open one of these jars. Alright, it did pop and seal. Always give it a smell. But those are the tomatoes I canned last summer. And I'll pour that in there. I'm going to add the can of V8 juice that I had in the refrigerator and give it some really good flavor too. And I'm just going to slowly heat this up till the beef broth has um, thawed out and bring it to a simmer. So while that's working, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the garlic, celery, onions, and the carrots for the soup. So let's get busy with that. Okay, I've chopped up all the um, onion, celery, and garlic, and I'm just going to saute that for a few minutes until it's translucent in some olive oil on the stove. Give it a good stir just for a few minutes, not very long at all. And it smells delicious. I love having garlic right outside my kitchen door where I can go pull it myself. Okay, I'm going to add this gar um, mixture to the soup while it's simmering and then give it a good stir. I did plant some onions this year, this spring, and they're up and doing good. I'm going to add in um, 
six cups of water to this soup and I'm trying to stay in this smaller pot y'all don't know I usually make huge pots of soup so this is a challenge okay now I'm going to add in some of the frozen vegetables um, about a half a bag of the baby lima beans one bag of the rattlesnake pole beans that I grew in my backyard this summer and those are delicious um, beans I'm going to add a lot of flavor to the soup and then I'm going to add in about two cups of Crowder peas I didn't use the whole bag I just thawed out two cups that adds a lot of good protein to the soup And then I'm going to add in my chopped carrots that I needed to use up in the refrigerator and the potatoes. I had potatoes in my pantry, so I'm just going to toss those in the soup. And homemade soup is a good way to use up any vegetables that you have left over in your refrigerator or that you need to move out of your freezer to make room for new um, things. Okay, now I'm going to add in the two cans of corn. I ate all my frozen corn earlier in the year, so therefore I'm going to really have to pack the corn in the freezer this year. I just did not put up enough corn and we've had to go to can. So I'm giving everything a good stir. See how pretty and colorful that is. I'm going to bring it to a simmer and now I'm going to add in the salt and pepper one teaspoon each but I really probably will have to add more salt as the meal cooks and then I'm going to add in the stew beef that I canned and I will link below a video that I just did on how to pressure can your own stew meat it's a very easy process and it tastes delicious that's what makes this soup so easy and quick is because the meats already been cooked I'm just going to toss in that with the meat juice to add even more flavor to the soup. This is so moist and tender. This meat will just shred apart and it's so delicious. So here's my second pint. I should have done a smaller pot than this. I'm going to have to have my grandkids come over tonight to help me eat the soup. And I'm going to add that kale in later, right before serving. It's a good way to sneak in some healthy greens. I always like to add um, cornmeal to my soups, especially the tomato-based ones. So I've got two heaping tablespoons of cornmeal, and I'm going to mix it in some cold water. Just give it a good stir. Then I'm going to pour that and stir it into the soup. It just kind of thickens it up and gives it a really good taste. That was a tip that my grandmother always did with her soups. So I'm just going to add that into the pot of soup and give it a stir. You could totally leave that out. I just like the texture that it gives um, the pot of soup. So there you have it. Everything is in the pot. I will um, chop up that kale and add that the last 20 minutes of cooking. I will cut this down on very low and just let it simmer throughout the day. And then there's a bay leaf I tossed in and it should be a great supper for the whole family tonight with some grilled cheese sandwiches. See how quick and easy that was and I didn't even have to go to the store. Yum, it looks so good. I'm going to have to have a bowl at lunch. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. This is going to be my lunch today. Mmm. That is good. I love homemade vegetable beef soup. It's so good. And when you have all the ingredients in your pantry and your freezer and your refrigerator, it takes no time to make a delicious, healthy pot of soup. So the grandkids are coming over tonight. We're going to finish up this big pot I made today. And 
if you have a well-stocked pantry, then you don't have to worry about if the store is open or not. Um, you can put together a meal very quickly. I could have done the turkey noodle soup. I could have done chicken taco soup. I have all the ingredients and that's what makes it perfect. So I want to thank um, Vicki's Country Home and Whippoorwill Hollow with Miss Lori for having this pantry raid collaboration. It's been a lot of fun and I thank you so much for joining me at Mimi's house. Thanks and have a blessed day. Mm. That's so good. <laughs>